did my skincare and prepped my face for the makeup so I'm gonna go ahead and jump on into the face makeup I have all of my makeup products right here including the mirror here so if I'm like looking down at myself it's this little mirror right here um so going into the first product i bought this product recently um because i've been wanting it for such a long time the laura mercier tinted moisturizer i've been trying it the last couple days and i'm really liking it so far so i'm gonna be using this today typically i go for like the maybelline dream fresh bb cream but she getting bougie now so we made a wild jump but I'm gonna be using my Real Techniques sponge but what I'm gonna do is just put a little bit on the sponge and I'm just gonna lightly put this on if you guys know me you know I don't like full coverage makeup um tinted moisturizers or like BB creams is more my style so I think this product is definitely worth the investment because Number one, I don't wear makeup like every single day, so it's not like I'm going to go through this product super quick. Um, I want to say I do my makeup realistically like two or three times a week. But because I have a lot of redness on my face, whether that is from scarring or just hyperpigmentation, I just need a product that's like light coverage that's going to blanket my face of just one color. I'm gonna jump into concealer now. Now, we're not escaping the drugstore concealer just yet. So this is the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer. This is, I believe, the dupe for the NARS Creamy Concealer. I mean, the packaging looks identical. Um, I have been using this concealer for years now. Um, I absolutely love this product. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just going to highlight more like the breakouts or like redness area that the tinted moisturizer didn't cover. Focus more on these little breakouts right here on the cheeks. I have been wanting to do a skincare routine video since the beginning of summer, but because of summer, my face has literally been breaking out like no other. I want to hold off on doing the skincare routine so I can actually show you guys like how I get rid of these breakouts on my cheeks. But I think it would be a really cool video to talk about my skincare journey and just, I don't know, stuff I really like. But anyways, now that I blended some of the stuff out, I'm going to do the concealer on my under eyes. I like to just do a couple lines just right here. And then on the corner of my eye and I like to blend up with this because I don't want my face to look droopy down so I try to blend up on my face as much as I can. Now I'm gonna go into powder. I see makeup tutorials all the time and they do like concealer and tinted moisturizer or foundation or whatever and then they move on to like bronzer and eyes. I'm like I bet you don't have oily skin because I got to like set my face as soon as I can. So I'm using the Laura Mercier Translucent Setting Powder. And I'm going to go in with this mini beauty blender. And I'm immediately going to go and pat my under eyes. I'm not going to necessarily bake it on there, but I'm just going to pat the powder in. It just looks so satisfying and then I go in on my nose too because that's like the oiliest spot on my face and then my forehead and then any extra I just pat on the cheeks I am going to go in with this Becca powder light shifter finishing veil and I'm just gonna pack this on my brush and then I'm just gonna Pat this into my skin. So we're gonna jump into eyes really quick. And if you guys have been following the channel for a while, Tarte, Tarte Light and Bloom eyeshadow palette. This is what the palette looks like. Also, my nails, you guys. This one is like chipping a little bit. It's blue, and I never do blue. And it's from the OPI line. I forget what the shade is, but we're trying something new. I know. So, yes, the Tarte Latin Bloom palette. One of my favorite palettes ever. 
I actually got a new one for Christmas last year from my mother and I've yet to use it because it's so pretty. I don't want to use them even though my favorite shimmer shades are non-existent anymore. But anyways, I'm going to use this one up until my other favorite shades are gone. But I'm going to be using the shade Jet Setter and Sweetheart. So it's basically like a light pink mixed with a chocolate brown. And all I'm going to do is just put this on my crease. It's the first thing I'm going to do. I also kind of like to like sweep the eyeshadow down by my lash line and then go to the crease. So now that we're done with the crease, I like to slap on some shimmer. This has been around in my makeup routine for probably too long. This is the Coffee and Cream Highlighter from e.l.f. And this is a collaboration with That's Heart. And I still use it to this day literally everything like it's kind of like breaking off at this point there's like a little chunk of highlighter and just throw it back in there i absolutely love the colors in this highlighter and i don't think they sell the collaboration anymore so i either have to one see if they have it in a different name or two start buying it on ebay if that's even available just like to tap it off a little bit and then i'm gonna put the shimmer just on the inner corner of my eye kind of blend it into this the center a little bit but and then i just like to blend the crease in that's pretty much it like that's pretty much the eyeshadow and then anything else i have on the brush i'll just put under my brows um i will go over with highlighter again under my brows and on the inner corner of my eyes but just whatever is the excess i like to put on there and we're good to go. Okay, so that is typically what I just do for eyeshadow. I used to put on liquid liner. And recently I haven't. And I've been loving the look of it. Because it just makes my makeup look more natural. However, I have been doing something new. Winged eyeshadow liner. And I think I want to show you guys how I do it today. So in this palette, there is a shade called Smoke Show. And it's like a pretty like matte black shadow i take this angled liner brush but i just lightly tap on it getting a little up close and personal for a second i'm gonna go to the corner of my eye and stroke up just like that that's all i need to do and then the other side i feel like this is my favorite eye to do that that was a lot better than this eye Okay, and then I start making a little wing. Okay, so this one was a little more of a fail, which is totally fine because it's shadow. You can just erase it a little bit. So I'm going to take my blending crease brush and I'm just going to blend it into the crease just like so. That's what I've been doing lately. I'm kind of like branching out. Been a little skeptical of the winged eyeliner for a minute because apparently winged eyeliner doesn't work on all shapes of the eyes, which is totally fine and I don't think it works with mine. And I can fully accept that. But this side actually looks a lot better than this side. Now I'm gonna curl my eyelashes really quick. Okay, I'm gonna skip on over to brows for a second. I love the Charlotte Tilbury brow cheat. It's literally just a little brow pencil, brown crayon. Um, so before I do my makeup, I'm very like picky about my brows. I always want them to stay in place. So I just set them before I do my makeup. And then when I do my brows, I just use this. And I just color in the balder spots of my brows and this helps fill them in and shape them a bit I'm gonna use this mirror but I don't like to go too crazy with my brows I literally just color them in maybe shape them out a little bit more with a spoolie and then call it good mm -hmm. 
Now I'm going to get into mascara. I got sent this one from Beauty Counter. It's their new um, Think Big All-in-One Mascara. I feel like this one does a better job with lengthening the lashes versus my other favorite, the Pat McGrath, where it does more volume. And I think it really comes down to the bristles. So I'm really into lengthening my lashes right now. Here's the bristles. Super nice. So because I already curled my lashes, I'm going to hop into the mascara. Look at that difference. Man, something about new mascara, guys. This is looking really good. We still have a little bit of face makeup to do. I'm gonna be straight up. I don't really do bronzer that much anymore. So I just like to do a little bit of blush. This is the Physician's Formula Natural Defense Multicolor Stick. And I like to take this with a blush brush. I'm just gonna swirl this on. And then I'm gonna put blush just on the temples of my cheeks right here. I don't do too much blush just because I'm honestly not the best with like contouring and stuff. A little on the chin. And then I'm kind of weird. I like to put it on top of my nose and a little bit on the forehead, like in the middle. And then the final touch is the highlighter. So I'm gonna go back with the e.l.f. highlighter. And I got this cute little highlighting brush. And I just like tap everywhere on here. And then I put it, what's it called? Temples of my cheeks, on top of my cheeks, my cheekbone. I'm guessing it's cheekbone. Other side, and I like to go above the brows, underneath the brows again, and then the tip of my nose and the bridge of my nose. The tip of my chin on top of my lip <laughs> and then a little bit on the inner corners just like a light dusting not too bad that's my makeup look obviously I don't do like full coverage makeup like you can still see my cheek breakouts right there but I honestly don't really mind that I just like a natural makeup look that accentuates my features that I really like, my eyes, my brows, my lips, and then everything else just kind of blends in together. But that is my everyday makeup routine. I hope you guys enjoyed watching and just chilling with me and kind of doing like a little chit chat um, makeup routine. If you enjoyed watching, make sure you give this video a thumbs up. If you want to see more of my face, follow my Instagram and my TikTok and my Pinterest and all the socials will be linked down below. I also upload on this channel every Friday at noon Pacific. So I hope you guys have a wonderful day and I'll see you guys in my next video next week. Bye!